Hello. 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 Welcome back to Messy Pod. Episode, the pod that's messy. Episode 18. Something like that. Season three. Season two. Season two. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, as you guys can see, both me and Mike are not in the same room for the first time. No, for the second time of filming this episode. Because you did the episode without me. Remember that, bitch? I do. Remember that flop? (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. I had obligations I needed to do. And now Mac won't let me near him because of something. Because of something? You can say it. So as you all know, there is a world epidemic happening in the world. It's a pandemic epidemic. Wait, I don't know. What's the difference between two? I'm sorry. Pandemic. Pandemic. Okay, that's pandemic. what I thought. Epidemic just means like a huge situation, right? Something like that. So so there's a worldwide... So, okay, let me start over. <laughs> as you guys don't know, there. if you guys don't know, there is a worldwide pandemic happening and, you know, we can't be close to people, especially if they end up accidentally or having to expose themselves to other and more people outside of the original circle of people they were exposing themselves to. And sadly, Mike had to do so. Mike ended up taking a trip to Florida to, what, you, what, you house it for your parents or something? I had to watch, my parents went to Florida because they just bought a house down there and they were maintenance that was getting done in the house. So they drove down, they've been quarantining in New Jersey. So instead they just drove straight to Florida and was just gonna quarantine in their Jersey house. My dad, cannot leave Diesel alone. My dad has to be with my dog 24-7. Honestly, I'm jealous. So he insisted on bringing Diesel with him. But on the few days where they had to travel and go get stuff for the house, like furniture, he now needed somebody to watch Diesel. He didn't have anybody in Florida, so he made me fly there. Oh my God, fly all the way to Florida from California on a flight. Yes, which flying right now during a pandemic is insane. (laughs) And it also showed like how different people are handling it in different areas. Like I- Yeah, you were telling me, you were telling me Florida is a different world right now compared to LA. (laughs) Florida, I I always, I think, I think, I mean, we take it much more serious here because of the restrictions and stuff that are put on us and the things we hear. In Florida, I swear to God, I'm like, I'm gonna go for a run, I'm gonna go get some sun. And I was passing by a main road and it was literally Sunday fun day. Like everybody was like out at the bars. The, the restaurants were all open. Nothing. There was no restriction. Nobody was walking around with masks. Nothing. Here I am on a run with like a mask on. I'm like, what the fuck? Like I looked like a freak. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, I know, I know, I know. I don't want to sound. I don't know. Race is a problem, Mac, but I do know the South has been taking this entire pandemic thing very differently than. The South and the North. I don't know. It's like the Confederacy all over again. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of different states. That's the problem with the states' rights, which is federal right thing. We're all going to take it differently, and different states are going to do different things because we don't have a group consciousness in this country. Yeah. <laughs> We're I a think- country that acts like 50 different countries all together. Yes. And There's then like, sometimes yeah. we get together for war, and that's it. <laughs> And people, and not people, always. Out, people outside the United States, that's literally it. Like, the only time our country gets together is for war. We, we fight for everything else. We it's don't even country, get it's, together it's, fully for war. Sometimes we have a war against each other. Everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we did. And we did. And we might again in a few years. We don't know where this is going. But <laughs> that is what it's like living in the United States. We do uh, the, the states act very differently. It's different cultures in each state. Yeah. Well, it's weird because it's like, from what I can tell the, on the Republican side, this, I think the small, everybody's afraid for the small business owners because the small business owners are being hit from this because their employees don't want to come back to work because True. everything that's going on, they're Small business owners are getting hit for this because our country refuses to pause the economy. Yes. <laughs> Let's go back to it all. Let's go back to what it is, what yeah. the problem is. The president in our administration doesn't take this seriously and decided you guys can survive without us doing anything right. Speaking and now of we're all which, just falling apart because our government doesn't want to fucking do anything. Speaking <laughs> of, I, all I'm they want to do to is sh- give us some checks some time to time. And now they're debating oh. giving us another one or not. They Here gave us twelve hundred dollars and now they're debating on giving us two thousand. But they might not. <laughs> Speaking of checks. You got it? I got my stimulus, bitch. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, I was guys. gonna yeah. I was gonna show the front of it, but I don't wanna put my information live again. <laughs> again. Again. I am not qualified for that check. So enjoy yeah. that, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, soaking it all in. Um, but that's been good. I also but like Florida, you know what, other than that, it was beautiful. It was fun. I had a really good time. And I do hope that things are gonna like slowly go back to normal mm-hmm. soon. I do think we should be very precautious, but like you know, I hope everything goes back. I it feel was like different, though. Specifically, I feel like LA is going to take its long as time because the amount of people that filter through this city alone is absolutely insane. This and this city and New York, and I feel like our mayor is so freaked out over that fact alone. So he's like, I don't know what we should do. I don't think we should open yet. Yeah. <laughs> three more months, three more months, three more months. <laughs> <laughs> I know three more months, which is insane. But also, like I'm thinking Absolutely about it, insane. like we're doing these things, and are like, and I'm not saying I'm not gonna call anybody out, but like, are people taking it seriously? No, I'm telling no. you, they're not. Like no, the, they're, place, yeah. the good people are, but like I can't tell you how I see people. I see people's Instagram. They're stupid and they post it. Or I hear people talk. They were smarter. I, I get annoyed when it's the people that preach, like stay at home, stay at home, stay at home. And then like I see, like low key, I know that they're out at a party in the hills. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Like, I don't know. It's fast. Not to point any names out. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. Um, I don't know. Flying was weird. The airports are empty. Are, are they still empty or are they getting crowded? They're pretty empty. The only crowded one I went to, I had a layover in Charlotte, North Carolina. But Charlotte, North mm. Carolina is such a big international airport. Mm-hmm. Um, LA was dead. I stopped in Dallas dead. on the way there. Dallas was dead. But I, I remember I got to Dallas. And it was the weirdest thing. I was like, I had like a two hour layover. So I was like, oh, usually if this was me in a normal time period, I'd be at the bar getting drinks, watching Housewives on the computer. Like, I'm like I love airports. I mm-hmm. love, love, love airports. But there was nothing open. I was just assuming. So I'm walking around with my bags and I see a restaurant was actually open. And I was like, <laughs> what? Yeah. And I was like, how could they do this? And then I walk over, there was only two tables available. They were spread apart, completely side to side. Oh tables. my God. I mean, they got to do whatever they can do to run their business. Honestly, that's probably what the re- reason is. Bitch, they got to pay, pay the rent for that place. They got to find I sat my ass down. I got a mimosa. <laughs> I got a breakfast burrito. And it was like, everybody had to wear masks, but it was like a, it was, it was like a feeling of normalcy, which was nice. Mm-hmm, you know what mm-hmm, I mean? Like, mm-hmm. Restrictions. I was going to say, so. oh yeah, LAX is very, very good. LAX is like a ghost town. Because I took a flight right before all the lockdowns happened. Literally, I landed and lockdowns literally took in place right when I landed. Yeah. <laughs> and so like before, even before the lockdowns, the airport was a ghost. Like it was terrifying. There was only like three people on my flight when I took that flight. And what was really? that? March? February? Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> flying, flying there, there wasn't a lot of people, which was nice. I'm, I mean, it's, it's weird to say, but aside from everything being closed, it was like one of the best flying experiences I've ever had. <laughs> you know, they, give, they give you a bag of treats because they're not going they don't do service on the Yeah, airplane. they don't do service on airplanes anymore right now. They just, they just give you like a goodie bag when you get on. Mm-hmm. And like, and, I, and there's no one on my plane and I have the road to myself. <laughs> and it's cheap flight, and it's, it was 150 bucks round mm-hmm. trip to Florida. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. When I flew up to Sonoma, the, it was the same price for a regular ticket for um, first class, and so I was like, "Fuck it, let's do first class." Hell yeah, Dude, for this hour flight. <laughs> it costs more money for me to Uber home to Jersey from New York City. <laughs> it's like a 180 dollar Uber. So think yeah. about that. It's like it's more expensive to do that than it is for me to fly across the country to Florida and Miami. Are you what? Let's go. I'm joking. <laughs> let's go. No, let's go no. tour the country while it's closed. <laughs> yeah, there's no point. It's so stupid. And on the way back, I was telling you before, like, I was like, okay, great. Uh, no one's been sitting next to me, but on my flight home, there was. My, mm-hmm. whole, my row was full. It was the last couple that got on, of course, they're sitting right next to me. And this woman sits down for me. And the first thing she does is go, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> here we go. This is where I die. <laughs> this is where I, so now I'm gonna I'm booking it for I think tomorrow or Thursday. I'm gonna go do the same Corona test that I did last time. It was test. easy. It was just a drive. Oh, they have a, they have an antibody. We talked about this. They have an antibody test now in LA yeah. or something. I don't know what's going they, on. They have it everywhere <laughs> in the outside world, outside well, these walls. <laughs> it's weird because it's like it's like okay, 
Uh, everybody stay at home and avoid the virus. But the only way you're safe is if you go out and contract the virus and get the antibodies. But the antibodies mm -hmm. aren't really like accurate. But like you should still get it. But also get tested. But if you get tested and it says you're negative, you can still be positive. Like yeah, it's it's very. I mean that's that's how science has been since the beginning of time. There's there's it's no always just like well that, but then also this, and then that, but then also that. Yeah. <laughs> It, it makes no sense. It's like 90, 99% survival rate, but everybody pandemically in the world it's is just, dying. I think it's, like, they what? just tell you the options no matter what. It's like, yeah, you should get tested, but at the same time, it might not work just in case. Like, you know just, what? It's like, get tested, but still be cautious because we're in a fucking pandemic. I Back. think that's what they're trying to say. <laughs> you and I are very different in many, most ways. But the one thing we are similar in is if you tell us to sit our ass home, drink some wine, and not get in other people's business, bitch, you don't got to tell me fucking twice. We're going to drink some wine, not get in people's business. Like, okay, damn, <laughs> okay, bye. 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 I'm going to leave my house. Uh, I'm moving. Oh, I'm yeah, moving. that is something else about your life. You have a lot of, your, this is just the mic update, honestly. I've been doing nothing. I've been nothing. sitting in my room. Fuck. We got updates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am. I'm moving finally. I'm. I'm uh, I think I'm gonna have a roommate though, but it's one I know better, and it's in a much nicer space. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a pregame spot, girl. It's is it a bigger? Be, is it a big? Did you find the apartment? I found a few. We're gonna go view them tomorrow. It's weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I didn't know how I was gonna talk about viewing apartments during a pandemic. You know, I wear a mask, girl. Yeah, I wear a mask. I didn't know if people were going to be comfortable showing it, like being there, but they are. You have to wear a mask. I think they, they're not going to show me around. They're just going to unlock the door for me and I can go in and just like not touch anything. I don't mm -hmm. know. I'm going to be very careful, but I, I have to do it because I have to move. So mm -hmm. the places are much nicer. I am going to have a roommate because I was thinking about living alone. Mm -hmm. as you and I both know it's a dream, but like think, I think about it this way. If I pay like $1,800 a month here in LA or mm -hmm. New York or anything, you can have a place, but it's not going to be a nice place. So if I'm able to find a roommate, somebody that I like and like enjoy living with, for less money, I can have a bigger, nicer space. <laughs> a bigger, more profound area. Yeah. So it doesn't make sense to live alone, really, unless you're rich, which eat the rich. <laughs> I just realized we're not going to figure out how long we've been recording because this thing does not count. So I'm going to set a timer now. Yeah, we'll think of around and 7.30. Say we, we've already been talking for at least like eight minutes. So. <laughs> yeah. Back around like 7.30, 7.45. Okay. Um, timer also, I, my arm 50. has lost all feeling. Why? That's the corona. There it goes. <laughs> there it is. I, I pinched a nerve in my neck. I have no idea how. I was getting up. I was just like standing up. I was filming the video with my dad. And I stood up in the middle of it and I threw out my back. 28 years old, I can't even get up. And I threw up my back and I pinched a nerve in my neck. Maybe you should go visit like some doctors. What well, doctor's somebody. open? No one's open. I know I too. Maybe you should talk to a fitness trainer. Maybe you've been working out wrong. Maybe you're just in the wrong position. It's just been fucking up your body. You don't even know it. I haven't worked out in two months. I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. And my your muscles are decaying. <laughs> Dude, this, my shoulder, it, it, it literally feels, I've been eating Advil like their m &Ms. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, because it's, 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 it, my arm has been in a constant Charlie horse. We're literally, I'll be sitting there. We were like at lunch, my mom, like outside, because we were at the one table outside. I'm sitting there with my mom and my shoulder was just twitching for two hours. So it's gotten to the point where my arm to this part, just it's, my arm is completely numb down to my thumb. Jesus Christ. That's why you gotta you gotta make love with your good friend CBD real quick. Oh, Girl, I got it. I California. Got, get I got some of those little... lotions. Get that bath salt. Take a bath. CBD infused bath salt, bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go to town. <laughs> Rub a dub dub. So good that tub, baby. <laughs> wow. Any updates about me? I have no single updates. I no, have really been you. doing nothing for like you've been you what you you disappeared for like a week. I forgot. A week. It was a week. Well, yeah. your skin looks flawless. Usually there's like, I don't know, maybe it's a, maybe you got a little crusty in person, but bitch, I'm on pretty Zoom. pretty crusty in person. At I Zoom? know. On camera, my skin always looks so fucking perfect. Like, even like on, like, well, my, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but even like in, um, 
on my newest camera and my videos. People keep on commenting, Mac, oh my God, Mac, your, your, fa- your face is so smooth. Your face is so smooth. Oh my God, your yeah. skin. And I'm like, girl, I don't know. It's this fucking camera. This camera just smoothed out my skin. My skin is crusty and dry. I have eczema all over my face. There's dry <laughs> particles all the time. Yeah. Oh, no. Y'all just can't see it. Uh, that's updates for me, my skin. I have more updates. <laughs> what What is your other update? I have a beard. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm starting to grow one. This that's is the beginning. That's true. You don't really grow one. Are you going to keep it? I think you could keep it. You look very, like... Daddy. Daddy, yeah. Here's the fuckable. thing. Here's the thing. This is my thought process. What's your thought process? So I've been getting a little thicker. Thin- like a li- thick, thicker. Thicker. Thicker? Yes. Thicker. Okay. Okay. So, and I've gotten to the point where, like, I'm just going to embrace it. We got extended another three months. Okay. <laughs> who the fuck? Oh, my fuck, gosh. You can who be. Who the fuck cares? You can be Bolin. Just turn into Bolin. That's what. Oh, someone Aura. told me to do that. Someone's Real like, quick. you and Bolin give the same vibes. And I was so flattered. Just get a little I, bit more thick. And then you'll be Bolin. And honestly, I fuck. No, I wouldn't. Don't touch me. <laughs> I would be so down to be Bolin. I love Bolin. But the thing is, I just lost. I just lost. 20 pounds. And now Oop. Okay. <laughs> I just lost 20 pounds and I was so excited about it. I want to keep it up, but I'm not even like, I, I, I feel, ugh. so I was thinking about this. Thick men, great. Mm-hmm. Men with beards, great. Yeah. Thick men with beards? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obvious, so obviously. If, yeah, if you're getting a little thicker, you have a beard and a hairy a chest. You be every every twink boy's secret dream. Yes. So if you're getting, <laughs> this is my advice to people out there. If you're getting a little thicker, just grow a beard. Grow a beard. I wish. I wish I can grow a beard. You know what? I was actually low key thinking about buying and trying out. There's this like ad that keeps on playing on my Facebook thing. I think they. They can see my face. They know I can't grow a fucking beard. But it's like this weird, I think it's called like Copenhagen beard growing kit or something. It's like this weird thing that like stimulates, it's supposed to stimulate your face and you put like some ointment on it and it's supposed to help you grow your hair thicker. I'm it's like, I look, you want to try that. I, I know it's probably lies, but I look, you want to like, I want hope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get them to sponsor you. Get it for free. My dad could not grow a decent shadow until he was 34. Mike, I'm 23. I need, I need it now. I want to be a sexy daddy today. You want to be a daddy? <laughs> I want to be a zaddy. Uh, uh, oh my God. I want all these twinks to look at me and just like think about risking it all, you know? <laughs> you know? They see me and they just feel a quiver in their buttholes. <laughs> <sighs> Do buttholes quiver? I, th- I mean, if they're open enough. <laughs> I wish I was a bottom. I feel like I'd be so much more popular if I was a bottom. Honestly, we both would. We'd be the life of the party if we were bottoms. I mean, we're already the life of the party, but imagine, like, if we were, like, truly verse queens. We'd have, I'd have so many more followers. <laughs> the only fans we pop in. Only fans we pop Oh, speaking of. Speaking of, you still Mike's have that type of plan. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I graduated. I actually started posting like n- not porn. Everybody, calm down. <laughs> You've been posting more eggplants. I've been posting. Well, I posted a few without like, like you. Ha- it's kind of getting creative. I'm like, where's the Waldo like eggplant? Like, where is it in the background? Kind of. But I'm like mm-hmm. posting like I'm showing a little bit like you know like underwear moments. <laughs> you're getting a little more friskier, friskier. Listen, give you a few you more months. Me- you're gonna see a full ass dick, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. <laughs> Don't subscribe no, to onlyfans.com/slash no. Mike's Big Eggplant. Yeah, and uh, live life. <laughs> hey, listen, Ari. You know Aristotle. He he. I, they made fun of me. They were like, me, Ari, Billy, and Kyle have always said one of us just needs to do it. As soon mm-hmm. as one of us does it, it opens the plugin. And didn't Ari right. do one? Didn't Ari? Right after me. Yeah, yeah I saw second. that, and I was like, of course they did. This is the avalanche. <laughs> he <Mike> started a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Ari, actually, okay, Ari, Ari's, of course, he got, like, a few more than me. He's mm-hmm. doing good, but Ari showed a little more than me, but Ari used to be an underwear model. So he oh, has, man. like, a bank full of, like, photos. hundreds of beautiful underwear photos that he's posting. We can get you hundreds of beautiful underwear photos, okay? I'll Listen. call it my photographer friends, and we'll set it up, okay? Yes. Post-pandemic, Mike, it's going to have a bumping only thing. 
I'm hey, so ready. everywhere in different angles, different filters, bitch. <laughs> you know what I want to do with you? We need to do like, I'm telling you, Mac, when this is over, I want a full messy photo shoot. Yeah, I do. I want to do that. I just saw, speaking of podcast photo shoots, I just saw um, Grace and Mamrie, <laughs> our, our episodic talk of Grace Helbig and Mamrie yes. Hart. Well, they just did like a 1920s photo shoot they just came out with that. on their Instagram. And I was like, oh my gosh, if me and Mike, me and Mike could do a really cool, weird photo shoot. We should do, because we go, we, we, you and I make fun of like upper class. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like imagine you and I being like in these like super regal, like decked out suits and ties, having a tea party. I want like, to do. Mix it in with us being real us, like yes. me and my jock strap, just like, yeah. <laughs> I also wanted to do like one of the most avant-garde photo shoots we can possibly afford or some oh. shit. Get, get Bitch, some I got an OnlyFans now. I can afford weird the same ass, as you. Get some weird ass outfits. We find like some empty ass convenience store. What is this? I don't know. But Mac, Mac if you want to do something cool, we could, let's call Marco Marco. He will literally make us outfits. Make us weird. Oh my gosh. That would be so awesome. You know he'll do it. Um, I love uh, him. If you guys aren't following Marco Marco, be sure to. <laughs> Just get out with Marco Marco and have some weird ass photo shoot. That'd be iconic. We should Honestly, do it. I'm season three, you, we'll, three it. we'll be season different. Three. <laughs> that's going to be, if we ever do the a live show, that's going to be it. We're going to walk out in those outfits. We're going to play, um, what is it, that Lady Gaga moment? Walk, walk, fashion baby. We're getting <laughs> that bitch crazy. Amazing. <laughs> yes, living That'd our lives, feeling our. Oh, should we get into our segment? <laughs> <laughs> get into it. Yeah, you do your segment first because I haven't. Get even into up. it. Okay. Well, I don't. Okay. Okay. Are, are we ready? Should we do it? Yes. Three, one, two, two, one. It's gay. <laughs> Wait. <It's- laughs> We're almost done with two seasons, and you don't know it yet. It's your segment. Wait, the three, two, one. Gay agenda, Gay agenda with Mac. Agenda with Mac. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> this week's Gay Agenda. Um, Shira, Shira. I don't know that much about it. I don't know what's happening. It's a show on Netflix, and apparently, it's hella gay. So, gays, go watch and go support, and make sure there's more seasons of it. Is I don't it know really? what it's about. Uh, someone told me that there's a show called Shiba that's hella gay, and I was like, "Ooh, let me talk about it." And I totally forgot about looking it up until right now. So, guys. is it? I think it's the female He-Man, if I'm not mistaken. I, I'm, 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 I think I've heard that before. Let me see. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it real quick. She look that shit up, bitch. Bruh. Bitch, Mac. And the I'm gonna hype you up right now. Of I'm gonna hype you up right now. You better look that shit up. She-ra Hell yeah. Gay. <laughs> I'm gonna search Shira gay. <laughs> <laughs> See what comes up. Ooh, there's five oh. seasons, bitch. This ain't new. This ain't a new show. This is something that's been around the block. Let's watch it. That's Netflix for you. Netflix has like shows that have been going on for like years and no one notices it. Like Peaky Blinders, I think it's on like season seven now on Netflix. <laughs> Mac, let's watch it. You and I, you and I need our own life. You know how couples have their own show and they only watch. It okay, so this is what happens. Okay, so Shira gets even queerer by adding a non-binary shapeshifter to its cast. But this is in November fifth of twenty nineteen. So never mind. That is not the news. But that's one of. <laughs> I'm the greatest at giving gay agenda news, guys, ladies and gentlemen. People send okay, you in okay. gay agendas. Look at the email. I know. I need to look at the emails. I will. But okay, so this I, is the article. Here's a tip. I star, I star all of them for you. Thank you. Okay, so this is an article from Pink News. It says, Shira returns to a Netflix for its final season. And spoiler, everything is gay and getting gayer by the minute. Uh, so apparently the that. final season of Shira gets pretty gay. I don't know. Okay. I don't want to spoil anything, but apparently there's things in it that are pretty gay. And if you all want to watch and support the final season of She-Ra and give the gays more rights, <laughs> wait, watch it. What do you also, think? ooh, another gay agenda, bitch. I just remembered. What were we going to say? I'm sorry. I just got to say I was going to say an, another show real quick that is trending right now is Korra. Remember we talked about Korra? Korra, yeah, Legend of Korra. I mean, Korra's trending That's because gay. Avatar is trending. And that people are is gay. People are comparing the two shows. Because You're going to bowl in, bitch. That. Yo, I am bowling. <laughs> that was gay, yes. Cor- I don't want to spoil Cor for people because that, that doesn't become canon until literally like the last shot of the entire series. We but yeah, it, it gets pretty gay. Cora is a bisexual queen and you yes. kind of feel the vibes of the entire series, but until yes. the final, literally the final shot of the series, yes. you're like, 
yep, she is. She gay. And they were like, there it is. <laughs> there they, it got, is. They, they passed that through Nickelodeon somehow real quick, real <laughs> one second. They were like, boom. <laughs> that was it. Apparently there's like an entire comic book that continues on from the final episode, but I didn't watch it or I didn't read it. But yeah, oh, second gay agenda. <laughs> there's a show going to be on HBO Max called Legendary. And it is a competition show between um, houses. It's a voguing, it's kind of like a ballroom competition. The ballroom competition show between houses. It's supposed to be like the, leg- oh. the most legendary houses people I've heard of going against each other, which is like a very big thing. You know what I mean? We had Pose, and now we're going to have an actual show that shows how it actually is done. I and that's that. going to be pretty excited. And they put out a trailer a few days ago, and bitch, that budget. <laughs> it's good. They got a fucking budget. First of all, Megan Thee Stallion is one of the fucking judges. What? That already sets up how big the budget of the show is. They like oh. they put some money behind this show, and that makes me so proud as Holy a black shit. gay man. You know, yeah. ballroom is a big thing, and I was like very excited to see that commercial. I was like, look at yeah. it, look at this up and coming bitch. Wow, Billy Porter won that. the Emmy, and suddenly they think differently about us. You know, I love that so much. <laughs> I do love that. Oh, I have another gay agenda thing I did recently on Friday. So there was, there is a YouTube channel called Jubilee. Jubilee, I've heard that before. Jubilee or something, I'll give you. They have like a few million subscribers. Mm -hmm. They have 5.3 million, 5.33 million subscribers. Oh, of course I've heard of Jubilee. Are we collabing? What's happening? (laughs) They're like, they're like, Mac does it with his measly two million. <laughs> no, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> honestly. Uh, but they reached out to me because they were doing a, a, by, they basically do uh, different uh, topics and then they bring in people that have to do with that topic and then they just mm-hmm. post the discussion. Um, and it's kind of like a round table moment. But they reached out to me because they're doing one on bisexuality. Oh, wow. And I was like, Yes, I'll do it. So they interviewed me on Friday. Oh, they're they're that they're that um YouTube channel where they do like, can you guess the trans man? Can you guess who's the frat who's trying to be a frat boy? Like they put a bunch of people in a room and then like you have to guess which one out of them is like the frat boy, which one out of them is like the true bisexual or something. Yeah, are they gonna do that with you? I no, we we, they did true bisexual. (laughs) They did a um they did basically a Zoom roundtable where they just asked us questions based on bisexuality and we all answered Mm -hmm. it and and to see how different everybody's um opinions were because they had people they had literally had people that were from the Philippines, they had um all different races, all different genders, all people like all these different people talking about the same topic and asking everybody the same questions and seeing how they differ. Basically, so they would ask this question. We would say if we disagree, agree, strongly disagree, strongly agree, like something like that, and then talk mm-hmm. about it. And it was okay. so good. Like it was, it was so informative. And I was having such a good time. And we all said things that are kind of controversial, and but just our own <laughs> personal opinions. And people were brutally honest. They didn't really weren't really worrying about what other people are going to think about. Like one. Oh thing, yeah, that's what that's what that um, site does. That, that yeah, that channel. They they start conversations people are afraid to have. You know, and that's important. It was good. <laughs> Well, they were asking, they were like, because they, they asked, like, as a bisexual, would you ever be with, like, a trans person, for example? Mm-hmm. And, which is good, because I feel like if you throw in, the, it's it's so weird, because I feel like bisexual, bis, the word bisexual is more dealing with straight sexual things, and pansexual is more based on emotional and physical connection. Mm-hmm. And I feel, it's, it's weird when you throw in the question about, like, the trans community, because a lot of people think bisexuality excludes the trans community for that reason. Or, but if you say that, doesn't that invalidate and kind of- The entire situation of the trans community. Yeah, that kind of, yeah. yeah, that invalidates. You're kind of, like, you're kind of yeah. saying that they're not actual men and women. Yeah, that, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and a lot the of- big yeah. conversation that's been happening, I feel like, yeah. on the internet. Yes, and a lot, <laughs> and the way, so like I clarified it, my own personal thing, it was like, I said bisexual, because a lot of people assume that that has strictly to do with um, cisgendered male and female. And I worded it like that. But I said, I only said bisexual because I had to put myself in a box because I, and so I went with what has previously happened. In actuality, I'm kind of thinking at this point that I actually might be pansexual, not because of, past, like if you go off of what has actually happened, I'm bisexual, but I don't refute, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't not be some be with somebody because they're trans or asexual or anything like that. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just haven't yet. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's weird. That gets into a whole 
like thought process and then yeah, i basically I like... came they were like do you think new things are always gonna new sexualities are always going to happen or do you think people are always going to invent something new and i said it's not really the fact that people are going to invent something new it's the fact that everybody's trying to put you in a box and they're trying mm-hmm. to label each box by saying this is what each box thinks but this there's always going this is that be somebody if different. you think differently and then you're this then you're that yeah, yeah. That, there's I, labels and boxes and there's always going to be boxes, somebody that yeah. hill, shy little boxes. you know the things are weird yeah. <laughs> but, but there's always going to be somebody that doesn't fit exactly in that box mm-hmm. there's always going to be somebody that is different you know or like slightly mm-hmm. different so I, and t- I feel like it's weird where I wish we could just not have a label at all just do whatever the fuck you want to do and mm-hmm. live your life that's all that has to do mm-hmm. and then you're not hurting anybody else's feelings and, and you're not feeling so much pressure it, it, it was it's just a really good discussion. I'm excited for it to come out. <laughs> oh, so you already filmed it? Like, so we already done. filmed it, yeah. It was oh, all wow. on Zoom. It was all on Zoom. Oh, wow. Look at you, bitch. Up and, and up. I, Where did my phone go? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it's right in front of my face. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. But yes, for me, if anyone's wondering, yes, I would date a trans man. I've said this answer so many times before. I've been yeah. in numerous um flirtationships with numerous of trans men yeah <laughs> not to brag or anything <laughs> I, think, yeah, I mean i don't I'm, I'm one of those people that are like yeah i mean it's a man it's a man's yeah. a man and i'm into i'm into that in general i don't care what they have underneath <laughs> i think i think for me it's he a top I, anyway so like whatever i'm joking <laughs> i haven't i don't know i haven't been in a relationship in so long it's weird for me i've always said like oh i'm so jealous like i could never be in an open relationship or all those kind of things i think it's been so long since i've been in a relationship i have no idea how i would navigate it mm-hmm. it, it, it really makes me it really makes me curious on on what that would be like i because sex is so not important to me now because i've had mm-hmm. s- so much of it as a younger age and we went through a lot i just had so much no but you you say it like that because you think it's me a bragging but it's not it's not me bragging it's because it, it, i had a lot of sex because of a really bad situation mm-hmm. and that's just the truth 45 minute video 45 minute video you still haven't watched it i still time. haven't watched it you, you know people the most commented thing is i can't believe max still hasn't watched this <laughs> I can't do it. It was I well, can't. I'll start feeling bad. It, yeah, it was, don't I don't. It basically, it was a bad. It was a bad situation. But I ended up have. I ended up basically having to disassociate the idea of emotion attached to sex. Do you know what I mean? So now, mm-hmm. when I'm in a relationship with somebody, sex is so not important. Mm-hmm. It's so not important. It's like a thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean it's like I mean. a thing that you do like in the moment, or like it has no meaning to me. Which is kind of mm-hmm. sad because I feel like it should. Mm-hmm. But like when I when I I would never not be with somebody because of a factor of sex. Like if I mm-hmm. emotionally feel something for somebody, I'm gonna go with that over over what my dick says. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. It's so weird. It's so weird. <laughs> we love you that. We love that. We celebrate it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean. I wouldn't say I'm not over sex yet. So, well, 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 well. I'm not over I don't, sex. I feel, like, I feel like I don't have sex as much as most other people in general. I mean, I feel like that is, it doesn't help the fact that I live in, in a long distance relationship. So I'm not yes. really porking it every weekend <laughs> or any shit, you well, know? <laughs> I feel like I have sex, but I have, I, and, and, and it's weird where I don't have, I still have a lot of sex. I don't have mm-hmm. as much sex as I used to. I wouldn't classify myself as a whore anymore, basically. <laughs> um, but, I, I feel like it, I, I do have it. It just doesn't mean anything. It just doesn't mean mm-hmm. anything. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But if it do, if you are somebody who has like exclusive sex and it does mean something to you, that's fine too. I feel like everybody feels like they need to assimilate with everybody else's ideas of it. Where like something like sex is like such a personal thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so ooh, ooh, speaking of sex, should we do hookup time? I almost fell off this bed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, three, two, one, it's, it's the time, time, time with Mike. Mike. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Did so you not find a story? One. I have one right here. It's a okay. hookup time, K-pop, knives, and homophobia. Ooh, Ooh. delicious. And in, in two <laughs> big warning signs right here says, we were both 26 when this happened. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, 
Uh, hey, my name is Caden. Hi, I'm Kaden. a gay male. Hi, Caden. I'm a gay male that lives in the Midwest. So I met the guy in this story on Tinder. We yeah, talk, man. he's a lot like you, Mac. <laughs> we have so much in common. <laughs> <laughs> so I met this guy uh, in the story on Tinder. We talked for a few weeks and decided to meet at a public place. We both bonded over our love for K-pop, specifically BTS. Was this Oliver? <laughs> Oliver is secretly 26, yes. Yes, yes, <laughs> secretly. Specifically, BTS, ATs. ATs, yeah, that's one. And, and, and day six. Don't know that, sis. Yeah, yeah. Who? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, about halfway through the date is when it started to get weird. He told me that he should, that we should fuck in the bathroom. Yummy. Have you ever fucked in a bathroom? Y yeah, not like a public bathroom, but like the bathroom. No, public. No. Oh, no. Public. I don't I don't go into public bathrooms in the first place, Mike. You already know this. So why would I fuck in one? <laughs> I've had sex in so many public bathrooms. Okay, we get it. You so went to, you many. Went to, you went to circuit parties. You lived in New York. No, You're no. First of all, I have never had sex at a circuit party. First of all, my friend did. It was really funny. I went with like three friends to a circuit party once and we we're like, mm. where's our other friend, Michael? We can't find it. Not me, Michael, another Michael. We we're like, we mm. can't find our friend, Michael. And, and then my Kimber grabs me and was like, oh, I'm like, what? And I turn around and he's blowing somebody in the stairwell. And I'm like, it's just out in the public. And we're like, that's our friend. That's our friend. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, you know, me and my first girlfriend, we had sex in a public um, shower at a campsite. Mm. Um, I used to also have a lot of sex in the gym at my at at my college. A lot of men I, passed through there. Both. Both. Ooh. Because there was a secret passageway through the pool, so girls could get in if I was like fast. Oh. But it was more guys. It was yeah, more apparently, guys at, when I went when I went to Chapman, apparently it was like. The, the 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 bathroom at a certain campus area was like a hookup spot for gay men. And I was like, why is this a thing that I learned? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, okay. Um, he told me we should fuck in the bathroom. Who wants to have sex in a, in a Dairy Queen bath? Me, what? Wait, wait. <laughs> Who wants to have sex in a Dairy Queen bathroom? I mean, it's queen for nothing. Oh my gosh. It's, it's I queen decided to ignore it, and we dated for three months after that. Wow. I mean, hey, hey, some people, some Love. people have curiosities they want to fulfill, even if they're terribly illegal. <laughs> I love that. I love that to gaze three months is a long time. Is a. <laughs> <laughs> It's an accomplishment, you know? <laughs> and I survived this man for three whole months. <laughs> anyway, uh, we finally decided to hook up at my house. Bad idea. We were in my room and I was sucking him off. He wasn't hard at all. He told me the only way to get him hard was to read him BTS fan fiction. <laughs> uh, this, I don't believe the story. <laughs> This is some bullshit, Mari. This is bullshit, Mari. Bullshit. This is, this is some bullshit, Mari. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> I thought that was really fucked up, so I denied. I took a walk around the block so he could get himself off because I wanted nothing to do with him after that. Wait, you left this man in your house yes, this man. to get himself off? To get himself off on BTS fan fiction? In your oh, house. In your house. Would you ever leave no, a No, I would never no. leave a hookup in my house, bitch. I got expensive shit. I don't know you like that. I don't trust the gays. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I got back and he immediately slammed me against the wall holding a knife. What? I don't believe this story says. I don't believe this story this, either. This is wait, fiction wait, 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 wait. wait, y'all trying. Y'all trying. Y'all joking with that. Let's keep Fine. reading, whatever. Wait, but yeah, fuck it. Wait, pull it. And asked me if I was into knife play. Mm. 
I punched him in the dick and ran out the door to my friend's house. And punched I called him the, in the police. Dick. You know it's a lie when they say punched him in the dick. Okay. Yeah. And he's holding yes. a knife to you and asking and he's you holding a knife a play. Knife into knife play. Wants to jerk off the so BTS who try fan to fiction. Who this? Who trying to get some laughs? Who think they are Who's a comedian? Trying? Oh, 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 it gets better because he okay. added his Instagram on the bottom. Ooh. Ooh. You go to his Instagram, it's like a 13-year-old boy. It's a whole thing. We're like, oops, we knew it. Wait. We waited there until I saw the police and my homophobic parents pull up. This story has layers. It's like a fucking onion. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. Homophobic parents pull up. I had moved out a few years ago prior to this and wasn't out to them yet. I went back over to my house and saw them restraining the guy. My parents yelled at me for the next 30 minutes about my sexuality and not the fact that I was assaulted. I haven't been in contact with them ever since. The guy I hooked up with ended up going to jail for drugs oh. three years later. Oh. So, <laughs> A look, few look years up. after the story, he tried to contact me. So oh. here is a screenshot for that. Oh. Oh, it's not. Oh, he said. He said. Oh, he, hold on. He oh, said sis. y'all thought I was lying. He said y'all thought I was lying. He said, y'all thought oh, you said I came with proof, bitch. I know y'all gonna believe this shit. <laughs> and the screenshot is literally okay. The screenshot is a DM of him going, "Hey, baby, I got a new friend," and then a picture of a knife. I don't know if that's true. Sis. I don't, I don't believe know if I can believe. Go to the Instagram. I don't believe. Go to the Instagram. Let's see the person's face. Don't show it. Let's see the person's face. I'm gonna see Send his me face. a screenshot, bitch. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we're looking. We gonna find you. We oh my god. I have the big I have a, I'm a, I have such a crush on somebody currently. Who, me? No. Damn. <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna DM them right Boiled now. Again. How's your purple hair, by the way? It's gone. Max, shut up. I'm, I'm DMing this person. You're DMing the person you have a crush on? <laughs> I'm sliding into the DM. I'm Send me so a nervous. Shot. Send me a I have such a, no, I have Send such a, a crush. Shot. Send me a screenshot. Okay. I bet you already know exactly what he looks like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> we- <laughs> I'm going to text you, and then I want you I want you to react to the person. He's so hot. He's so hot. He's oh my exactly God. my type. I'm sending you his app right now. Okay. I said, wait, 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 it said be prepared. That's how it all corrected. Be prepared. Be prepared. Okay, wait, 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 no, I, I said it wrong. Wait. What are you sending me? What is this? Wait. Oh, is this their is app? This, I'm supposed to search up? That's, I, I, it just sent it to you again. It's the right one. That's you could have right just app. like copied the page and sent me a link instead of just sending me the app. This is Instagram app? Instagram. The one that just sent you, yes. Because the whole world clearly gives a damn. It looks exactly like I thought, bitch. You ain't (laughs) new. You ain't special. (laughs) Exactly like I fucking thought. (laughs) First of all, he has like no pictures. Okay, that's sus. (laughs) He only has 27 posts. Excuse me, who are you? In Los Angeles too, bitch, who are you? (laughs) Here's the thing. Here's the thing. But he's cute. When I was, he, he's cute. He just looks like how I thought he was gonna look. But it's cute. <laughs> I don't understand because here's the thing. We they slid into my DMs mm-hmm. with like they like sent a bunch of hearts to one of like my stories, mm-hmm. and then we matched on Tinder. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's oh where God. the love story begins. And then I sent them a message, and they sent a short response, so I think I didn't answer. Because it was a response. And then, like, the next day, they were posting, like, being on a date with somebody, I think. I don't know. It was very sus. And then I was like, wait a minute. And I just haven't said anything ever since. I don't know if they're with somebody or not. And wow. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> oh, so you think, you think they might have, like, a boy for something that they're not posting about? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. But you don't know. You don't know. Going through it. I have a crush. <laughs> I have a crush. I feel like I'm not good enough. Because <laughs> you aren't. I'm joking. 
<laughs> Mike, what? We have a second sponsor, bitch. What is it? What is it? Well, back, 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 back again. Back again. This podcast is sponsored by the one and only lovely Ray Khan. Ooh. Ray Khan. <laughs> um. Whether you're working from home or working for you on your fitness, you want what you're listening to to be what you're listening to. Not your roommates, hey. your neighbors, your significant others, or your children are listening to. Everyone needs a hey. great pair of wireless earbuds, but before you go dropping hundreds of dollars on a pair, you need to check out the wireless earbuds from Raycon. Raycon. Raycon! <laughs> you already know Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any yes. other premium wireless earbuds on the market. Yes. And that they sound just as amazing as the other top audio brands you know. That yes. bass, bitch. That bass. I'm that bass. That it's bass. It's all about that bass. That bass. It's like, all about that bass. Like late at night, putting in the earbuds, just vibing to mm. that bass, bitch. It sinks you. You sink. You sink on that bass. But their newest That's model, the Everyday E25 earbuds, are their best ones yet. With six oh, hours yeah. of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and more compact design that gives you a nice noise-isolating fit. In this Great. little package? In this little package, you open it up and boom, glory. See, Raycon is not a size queen. They're all about <laughs> quality in that little package, bitch. I also love that whenever you put them in, the first thing you hear is, Raycon! <laughs> <laughs> Every time. But no, Raycon, I love these. I, I do, love I them love so these. much. They're really, really good. Raycon's wireless earbuds are so comfortable, perfect for conference calls or binging podcasts. Yes. Unlike some of your other wireless options, <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna throw a name. We, we ain't gonna be a shit. We ain't gonna be a, a, be a bitch right know. now. We, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know what we're talking about. Unlike some of your other wireless options, Raycon earbuds are both stylish and discreet with no yeah. dangling wires or stems. <laughs> not a pear, <laughs> not a peach. To distract anyone during video calls. You've heard me talk about how the company was co founded by Ray J and other celebrities. They're all obsessed with Raycon. And so pick up your pair and see what the hype is all about. Now's the time to get the latest and greatest from Raycon. Get 15% off your order at buyraycon.com slash messy pod. Buyraycon.com slash messy pod. That is buyraycon.com slash messy pod for 15% off Raycon wireless earbuds. Buyraycon.com slash messy pod. And thank you, Raycon, for sponsoring this video. Thanks, Raycon! So speaking of men, I don't know how to transition into this, but we decided for the rest of this episode, we wanted to talk about um, the gays and how to find them. Yeah! <laughs> J.K. Rowling's new book, <laughs> The Gays <laughs> and Where to Find <laughs> The next addition to the saga. <laughs> Starring what's his name? What's that? What's that ginger man? What's his oh my god? What's his? Eddie Redeme? Eddie Redeme. <laughs> what? Find some gay. You know? No. The the sequel, not the sequel, but the the new thing that they're producing with the like monsters and where to find them. I forgot what it's called. What did he DM you back? Yes. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what it's called and I really don't want to search it up. But yeah, this is a thing. Are you okay, Mike? Okay, Mike, what do you say? Busy. I wanna know. I wanna know. What do you no, say? What no, are you guys talking about? You talking about me, bitch? You talking no, shit, no, bitch? No, you talking shit? No, none of your fucking business. Y'all flirting? Y'all setting up fisting dates? What's happening? Shut up. Do people like Shut set up dates to fist? They have to, right? Like, that I mean, requires you have to prepare. Yeah. You, gotta, you have like, to prepare. You gotta plan that. That can't just be like a coming home drunk from WeHo okay. situation. <laughs> 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 I've also stopped having sex with people right. I care about. <laughs> if you have I won't sex have with sex with people care I care about. about if I go on a date, no, here's the thing. If I go on a date with somebody I care about, I won't have sex with them. Because guys suck. Yeah. And once they sleep with you, then they just like toss you aside. And I'm like, yeah. no. Men no. Ain't shit. Men ain't shit. Men ain't shit. shit. Men ain't shit. Many shit. Okay, so gays. <laughs> How? What is one way 
Okay, this is for all like our gay bees out there that are like, I want to know if I can find out this guy is gay. So we're going to give you guys re- ways to find yes. out if the guy you like is also a fajut like us. <laughs> I'm only half fajut. Half fajut. Half, half, half fajut. Um, yeah. I have a great one to start on. Yes, you, you, that's what we started with. Well, go over to their place, not, yes, and go into their bathroom. Okay. And if they have baby wipes. <laughs> Why baby wipes? Because that means they take care of their butthole and straight men don't do that. Asshole. You know, go into their bathroom, open yes. up the cupboards, and if they have a douche bitch, boom. Boom! <laughs> That's sneak, it! Sneak That's into it. his house, find where he lives, sneak into his house, find his bathroom, find his douche, and boom, he a bottom yeah. bitch. Yes! <laughs> Look for, look for, okay, baby wipes, easiest thing to find. Mm-hmm. A douche, clear giveaway. Pure for men, he a pro. He a pro. If you got one of those fucking shower nozzles, bitch, he gets fisted on the daily. <laughs> Have you ever used one of those? No, I'm afraid it's of awful. those. I feel like I'll just explode. <laughs> you do. You feel like a water balloon. It's like, whoop. You use one? Yes, because I like I still like to get my ass eaten. So you went deep, deep. Okay, girl. I don't know. They, I, they, I was literally told specifically. They're like, you need to do this first, and I was like, you know, if you're getting ass eaten, all you can need is like a simple douche. You don't need that full ass shower shit. That's if you're going like deep. That's if you're getting like dick, dick, bitch. Mac, it was like at an after par- <laughs> Mac, it was like at an after party five years ago. And uh, by the way, I'm not going to share somebody's douche. Oh, true. Water bottle it, bitch. Okay, um... What am I, 17 in New York City? Wait a minute. Oh, my God. (laughs) Okay, well, my tip is, I find that mine is more tangible, I guess. I don't know. It might be weird, too. It's very abstract. abstract, But I feel like you can tell by a man's smile. I feel like gay men have, like, a certain smile. That just, like, a certain, like, aspect to their smile that just gives off, like, that's a cocksucker, Maury. You know what I mean? What's gay? (laughs) Okay, what's gay about my smile? You know, it's, there's just that glow to it. You know, the gays have like a glow to their smile and it's like, oh, he's sucking dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you see the smile on their tin there and like, oh, he's sucking dick and he loves it, bitch. Yes. You know? <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to say it. Some people also say it's like, you have to watch watch his eyes and where they wander. But I'm like, I'm not about oh, to yeah. stare. I'm not about to stare at a man for like 20 minutes to see where his eyes look at. That's creepy. It's also if they double back at you, because that means they either think you're hot or they want to beat you up, which honestly is both hot. <laughs> or, you know, get your hottest guy friend, you know, and find a way for him to hang out with you around whatever guy you're trying to figure out is gay. And if that guy looks over and you're like, yep, he wants to suck that dick, so I'm going to suck his, you know what I mean? That's how you do it, kids. <laughs> or, oh. or, or, what was the Will and Grace one you had? <laughs> yes, here's a good one. Okay, so it's if you are, are if if they shimmy during the Will and Grace riff in the opening theme song, because I have to do it every time. <laughs> have you ever heard it? Okay, I'm gonna play it once. Will and okay. Grace theme song. Okay, do, have you ever heard it? Yes, I've watched Will and Grace. Okay. I used to be so in love with Will and Grace when I was young. Little I love baby. Will and Grace. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you know what I'm talking about. And watch, watch. <laughs> That's the part. Just right there. That's the part. That's the part. <laughs> That's the part. Yes, because watch it now that you know. Honestly, Listen if you want to wanna, if you wanna okay. know, like, if you want to know a guy is gay, just play the grinder sound and see if they look over. Or yes, play the, that's or a play, great one. Or, or or set your ringtone to the Will and Grace theme song and see if they recognize that. Sh- <laughs> to the, yes. Did queer as folk have a theme song? Set it to that one. <laughs> Here, ready, Mac? Now listen to it again that I said it, and don't shimmy. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Uh, also, to segue, segue real quick. Um, somebody sent us an intro for Dolores. Really? Oh yeah, that like it's a it's like a video that they found or something of someone performing yeah. the song called Dolores from like a Broadway show or something. 
Bat Midler. Bat Midler. Oh, oh, I'm not that gay. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> they said it's a link. I'm gonna go get the link. <laughs> Found it. You texted it to me. Get your shit together, Mike. Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. And from now on, that's how we're going to uh, intro Dolores. D-E-L-O-R-E-S. Every time we bring her into the screen. <laughs> well, Dolores is currently not in my room. So Dolores is still in the living quick. room. Sing it, Sing it with, with you. Quick. How do you spell Three, Dolores? Two, yeah, you spell D E L O R E S. Dolores. Dolores. Okay, 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 ready? Three, two, one, and D E L O R E S. Bet Dolores. <laughs> you counted it. <laughs> counted it. No, you counted in. I'm recording on my computer, so I'm synced okay. with you already. Okay. Three, two, one. D-E-L-O-R-E-S, Dolores. Okay. Delicious. <laughs> um, another way you could find out if somebody is gay or not is to throw out porn names. Like, be like, oh my God, you look like a, you look like a Sean Cody mo- model. You look like a Sean Cody model. Straight people Johnny. don't know what the fuck that is. Just, They're going to be like, just scream Johnny Rapid and see who looks up. <laughs> Stop it. Hey, you now, bitch. You now. Oh, God. Uh, the Justin Bieber of men.com. Oh, I had a great idea today. So since, okay, as you know, you know how I have like a lot of friends who mm-hmm. are like big in gay porn? Yeah. So I, I filmed a, like reacting to bad porn intros for like mm-hmm. straight porn shit. But I mm-hmm. thought when I do the gay porn one, I should have gay porn stars do it with me. So reacting to gay porn intros with gay porn stars. Gay porn stars. I still have. Oh, you don't need the DVDs. Never mind. I don't have the DVDs anymore. Do it? No, I don't. I threw them out. When I did, why would you not take them? What the fuck? I think I threw them out. I don't know why I did, but like, yeah. When I had to do, when I did that Adam and Eve collaboration, I reacted to gay porn intros, and I couldn't react to just random gay porn, so they had to send me stuff from their catalog. <laughs> And so I had to react to these weird ass DVDs that are from yeah. like the nineties. And I was like, what is happening? I know the ones and I know yeah. they sent you like a, a Superman versus Batman. Yeah, they porn. like Superman versus Batman porn parody. I was like, what the fuck is this? And I know them. <laughs> I know everybody in that video. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oops. But that production value, honestly, go ahead, porn industry. The porn industry has a bigger net worth than the music industry. You know that? I believe it. That's why I was watching. Bank. They make bank in that fucking industry. I was watching porn and I was like, the bad ones. I'm like, okay, they couldn't throw a lav on these people. We don't hear a thing <laughs> they're saying. The production quality was so low, but I feel like mm-hmm. nobody cares about the production quality. So like, save yeah, the budget. Yeah, it's just the sex. You can save the budget and all these porn producers making millions and millions of dollars a fucking month or some shit. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Let's get into it. That's gonna be our. That's gonna be our our, our new thing. We're gonna we're gonna Ooh. become full. We're gonna become Davy Wavies. Like get what into he did. it. How, imagine how much money Davy Wavy is probably making with that porn company For, he made. Get bitch, about it, bitch. bitch. <laughs> he got a house in Palm Springs. He said, like he done. He, <laughs> he said, buy you. He's only on YouTube sometimes. Do like Adam and Eve sponsorships. That's all he does on YouTube now. Yeah. Other literally. than that, he's just like doing his porn company and literally narrating his porns. <laughs> <laughs> that's all he bullshit. does right he like narrates the video or something i don't think yeah. he's ever in them <laughs> yeah it's also weird i've been back to the topic of mm-hmm. like how to tell if people are gay i haven't had to do that in years because i'll just like I'll because out- everyone's attracted to you mike no that's not <laughs> what i was gonna say <laughs> nah. i was gonna say because like it's like when i'm at a if you're at a straight bar i feel, I feel like if you're, if you're i feel like this is more of a question for people that are in the closet because if you want to find people that are gay, you go to a gay bar, you go to a gay themed place. True, true, you know what I'm saying? True. We haven't had to worry about that. Mm-hmm. I, mean, ever since- I haven't had to worry about it for a while because of Tinder and all that stuff. Because, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone. That was how I found my gays, okay? Before, before Tinder became 18 and plus, it was like 16 and over. 
Yeah. And then I joined it when I was like 16, right when it started. And hey, I found my gaze. That's safer. I used to go to <laughs> chat room. My thing was chat rooms. Very mm-hmm. not safe. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. When I went into chat rooms, I pretended I was Cordon Blue. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would, you would literally <laughs> type in the kind of chat room you're, you're like, this specific type chat room. And you would go mm-hmm. in and make yourself like a name. You, you would make like a specific screen name for that night. Wow. What else do you want to talk about? Anything else in your life that's happening? I feel like we should have made this super long. So I want people to force themselves to listen to us uh, talking through webcam. <laughs> uh, 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 um, no? No, any other tips? My tip was just a smile, basically. That was my that serious was their only tip. That was, that was my serious tip. The other tips were like, just in case, bitch. I don't fucking know. <laughs> But I'm serious about the grinder thing. Just do the voice. Yell Johnny Rapid in a public area and see who was. <laughs> what are the porn stars? Who else? Who else is big in the porn? Uh, What's his name? Boom Banks? Boomer Banks? Boomy? Who's who's your favorite? <laughs> who's your favorite porn star? Who's I don't have one. You don't know their names? Wow. Not really. All I know is Johnny Rabbit because he was all over the place. He was on like Everywhere. all these random ads. Like you would see him all over the place. What's <laughs> no your how's this, how's this? What's your favorite type? Would you if you would you like more of a men.com, Randy Blue, Sean Cody? Oh Jesus Christ, there's so many companies. Um, who uh, uh I'm not really I mean, I don't really watch when I peruse my porn, I'm not really a fan of like high production porn companies. I'm more like the amateur set. I like um I like Randy Blue. I like Sean Cody. I like I like, I like I like the guys that look very average, not super jacked up on muscles and all that stuff. I like the average Joe looking guys with a big dick. <laughs> oh Bellamy. You're a Bellamy boy. Who? Bellamy. Bella who? Bellamy. Bellamy? B E L A M I E? I don't know, something like that. Bellamy! It's more like, it's like your Euro, Euro twinks with big dicks. Oh, why would I be a, no, no. That's Euro literally twinks. Jake! <laughs> For the longest time, you know, people thought Jake was Italian because we were in Italy together. I know, that's why I said it! <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, guys, he's not Italian. He's just oh. studying here. <laughs> Um, but imagine I just bagged a fucking Italian real quick out of nowhere. It's like, hey guys, I'm Jay an Italian. That would be so great. <laughs> that would be so great. Um, I feel like normally I'd be a Sean Cody, but with mm-hmm. this beard, I don't know. I might be like, I don't know. Men.com. <laughs> Brazzers. Brazzers. <laughs> Brazzers. <laughs> Bang bus. Bang bus. Those ads, the ad, the men.com and browser ads that you see randomly, if you ever go into the porn sites, they're the most over the top obnoxious ads. Ridiculous. <laughs> like, my dad found me masturbating in a closet, so now he fists my asshole. What? <laughs> oh. Or, oh, I'm going to have sex with this sex toy, but then someone broke into my house and pretended to be my sex toy that I had. With. Oh, I'm sis. <laughs> sis with, like I want to be, you know, if YouTube fails, I'm just going to be a writer for porn. I'm going to be, be a great porn writer, right? You'd be so great. Porn stories in the world. I mean, oh, I would oh, love God. to say if YouTube fails, but YouTube never really worked for me. <laughs> yes. Sis. Yes. Uh... And on that note, let's end it. <laughs> Oh, where can people find you, Mac? People can find me anywhere. If you search Mac Dudzit, that's M-A-C-D-O-S-I-T. Where can people find you, Mike? People can find me everywhere if you search at MikeMGTV on all social media and Patreon or Mike's Big Eggplant on OnlyFans. You can check out us anywhere if you search Messy Pod on Twitter, Instagram. You can also find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Himalaya, I guess, and any other pad- podcast platform that this microphone, megaphone thing puts on. <laughs> every Wednesday, and you every can get the Wednesday. visual. You can get the every visual every Friday at youtube.com slash Messy Pod. Messy Pod! And be sure to email us, guys, any gay agendas, hookup time stories, memes, drawings, 
anything you want to email us at, except like don't don't email us for like I got an email on our messy pod mm-hmm. email being from somebody being like I want to try out for Survivor any tips Mike no. We no. don't know that shit. No. <laughs> don't email us for personal shit unless it's unless it's related for the pro- podcast. Podcast, podcast only. Be a jaws. And uh, you want to show your ass or no? No. No. Okay. <laughs> he evolved. He moved on. He's getting money for it now. But Garbage. yeah, that's it, guys. You've been douched. You've been douched. Oh, can we call? Can we call? Like, you know, people have little nicknames for their audience. Yeah, sure. Should they be like our little dingleberries? Like dingleberries? Dingleberries. He was not Sure. Honestly. Goodbye, yeah. our dingleberries. <laughs> you been douched. No, wait, no, no, no. Dingle babies. Bye, yes. dingle babies. Bye, dingle babies. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.